founding member of the Young Americans Theatre Company. I'm the managing director current of Young Americans Theatre Company. I've been acting with them since their first season, but this season I am directing and acting. The Young American Theatre Company is a company that was started by a group of high schoolers three summers ago uh, to give young people a space to perform work that was relevant. And it's become a place for youth to come and see work that's relevant to them, done by their peers, essentially. So you guys are acting together in one of the past curfew one acts, yes, right? Yes, Body of Water. Um, the show we're in is really interesting because it spans sort of the whole lifetime of these characters, and as they grow up, they are recreating the memory of the last time they were together. And it's kind of a mixed <laughs> encounter. Um, Not always friendly. And really emphasizes how times that you have with people you love when you're young can be the most important times of your life. And I think that's something that's really important about it. Um, well, really, when I was growing up, I always knew that I didn't want to be an actor because my parents are both actors and everyone would always be like, are you going to be an actor like your mom and dad? And I'd be like, no, I'm going to be a marine biologist. And then that didn't really pan out. As my parents are also in theater careers. Um, they founded the Seattle Shakespeare Company. So I was kind of raised in those offices. And so that environment insidiously influenced my entire life. In high school I started doing some stuff at the children's theater and meeting really great people and realizing that I am not really good at anything else and nothing else really makes me happy the way theater does and that there's other people that are like that too that are my age and that it's okay. Although I still don't want to be going to theater as a career Unlike a lot of the other people at Yahtzee, I want to be a neuroscientist, but we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Talos is like really smart. <laughs> like scary smart. <laughs> I think the best, the most crushworthy thing about Talos is his like slightly awkward, like really awesome demeanor where like you know that he's always like trying to say something really cool and really smart and it just comes out like in slightly the wrong way so that it never sounds pretentious <laughs> even though it's like really smart and awesome but he never sounds, you never hate him for being smart because he's just a little bit awkward and I think that's really crushworthy about your talent. The most crushworthy thing about Zoe, in my opinion, is that she's just so ebulliently friendly and energetic about everything. Everyone knows her and everyone loves her and she loves everyone. And it's just impossible not to enjoy yourself around Zoe. First of all, if you're the kind of kid who's like, hmm, I don't really like sitting in a play for a long time, that's okay, because all the plays are real short, so if you're bored of it, there'll be a new one real soon. Yeah, we cater to the short attention span. Yeah, um, I have a short attention span. I've fallen asleep in the theater before. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so the second reason is that it's going to be really fun, and all the stories are really interesting, and I know that I connect with all of them on a personal level. And that's something that's really hard a lot of the time for students trying to go see theater. Is that so much theater is about things that we haven't quite got to yet. And that's why we really love this company, is because it gives us a chance to tell our story. Okay, what is it? $15 for adults, yes. and $5 in your teen ticks! Yeah! I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>